What's up, Dirty Cones? Um, so, a lot of questions, a lot of answers. You know me. Um, so let's go. <laughs> Alright, train alone. Do not worry about training alone. It's, it's always nice to have a buddy. Uh, buddy gives you, you know, you can push yourself a little bit harder. A um, little bit more encouragement kind of stuff. But it isn't the end-all, be-all. You know, or maybe you only got someone you can uh, go to the gym with. You got no one to go to the pool with you. There are lifeguards there. You know, let the lifeguard know what you're doing. Swim fast, you know, do well, be smooth, and then you get someone to go to the gym with you, you work out with that guy, and it's just life, you know, you're not always going to have someone to, to be your buddy, so you got to learn to do it by yourself. A uh, really good surf movie called Big Wednesday, uh, when the guy's talking about big wave surfing, and he's like, that's a test of a true surfer, you're always alone, you know, you can't depend on no one, only yourself. And, and which is that you learn to depend only on yourself, but when you have someone else there, it's even more great because you got two guys that are dependent on themselves, now depending on each other, and they're stronger for it. All right, so you guys, uh, what's too old for Indoc? There, there's no such thing as too old, all right? Indoc was invented to prepare guys to go to dive school and specifically the army dive school when we used to go there and it was hardcore and it's uh, the pinnacle of the army schools you know it's the best it's down in key west john f kennedy special warfare uh, warfare center awesome place right when i went there as a young cone i was 21 22 um my dive buddy was 38 right 15 year special forces veteran you know busy humping rucks all the time uh but old you know and and hurting and he made it through and that's the problem that some uh guys have with pararescue and combat control they call shake and bake because you come out of you know basic training and you get all these schools just like that and whereas in the army you used to have to you know do a little time as a regular guy and then cross over you know and go to the Q course and, and stuff so uh, I think there's a little bit of resentment and I, I don't blame them I mean I, I think that the army should send their guys when they're younger and I think that they're probably doing that now more but send the younger guys because man at 38 you don't want to be going back through this stuff it hurts so you're never too old to go through this training so stop worrying oh my god i'm 27 my life is over i'm over the hill i've seen two 44 year olds uh get through indoc i've seen a couple 34s a 38 i i'm more worried about the the younger guys because of lacking the uh the mental fortitude, you know, at 17, at 18, dude, I wouldn't have made it through Indoc. And I'd have been like, screw you, screw this, screw that, this is stupid. <laughs> you know, but at 21, I'm like, all right, I got it, makes sense. But, I mean, that's just me, but at 18, uh, so you're never too old to go to Indoc. Um, oh, yeah, a lot of excuses lately on. I mean everything you just you can't accept excuses you know I mean let me give a for example you pop on it underwater and you're like oh I'm tired uh, I'm worried about my girlfriend I have a test I got to go to work after this uh, I can't see the other side of the pool uh, it's too deep my ears hurt uh, Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, shoot, I'm getting a Charlie horse. Um, right? Think of all the times you're doing it underwater and you're like, okay, I have to come up. You know, if you have to come up because you need to breathe, okay, I can live with that. But just because it sucks, you, you can't accept those kind of excuses because at Indoc, they're not gonna accept those kind of excuses. So, no more excuses.
Uh, well, I was going to go longer, but I don't want to go too long because I have... Uh, did not mean this was supposed to be more of a happy... Yay! <laughs> Alright, I'm be quick about it. Alright, so strokes. If you are stroking to the other side of the pool in under seven strokes, you're doing all right. You're doing good. Seven is a C. High C, low B. Four to five, B, low A. Three to four, you're Michael Phelps, you know, and you're just cruising through the water. So uh, it is doable. Um, so just don't, like I said, don't judge yourself against other people. But, you know, look and go, all right, how's his stroke going? Oh, all right, he seems to be doing pretty good. I got it. Work with yourself. Work with what you got. Some of us aren't the tallest. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's it. So everything's good. Check out The Purge. I don't know if you guys... It's a very interesting movie. Finding Dory was a better movie uh, <laughs> that I really enjoyed. Uh, and when I see the BFG... I think it stands for Big Friendly Giant, but that was not the first uh, letters or words that came into my thought when I saw a giant and it said BFG. <laughs> so, um, but The Purge, very interesting. Some people might say we almost live in a purge time. You know, people just kind of shooting people, uh, Zimmerman, and you know, whatever. Dual standards. Um... I don't know if I go that far, but um, I think the selfie nation that we have become, you know, raised off of Survivor, where it's kill or be killed, uh, I think that's kind of where we're living. I, because um, I don't think people understand that if by my helping you, I'm helping other people, you know, instead of pushing you down so I can breathe. Um, we all rise together, and <clears throat> I think that's what's important um, in fair rescue, in life, in doing everything. So help each other, and you know, and we'll all get out of here alive. Versus, you know, well, twenty-five of you are going out, but only four of you are coming back. Uh, as the Cheech and Chong bit. Uh, it was called uh, Vietnam, and it, it's pretty funny if you ever get a chance to listen to it. They're, um, <laughs> they're trying to get people to go out on patrol, and they're like, man, 